You're much talked about in America. There's much conversation, more so than any... Nation, Bush, Nation Bush's, yeah. Maybe they have nothing else to do in America but talk about me. No, no, no. What do you say to the 44% of Americans who say they are worse off now than they were before Biden took office? Well, look, uh, we all know the economic pressure that Americans have felt uh, when the president took office, the economy was flat on its back. But we're also getting extraordinary results, more than 13 million jobs created. That's more than any presidential term in American history. And yes, it takes a while for people to feel the full benefits of those results, just like it's going to take a while to build all of the infrastructure that we're now underway on with the president's generational infrastructure. Bill, but he got the bill done after president after president, Congress after Congress couldn't make it happen. He did. We're getting the results on the economy. Hey there, guys. Welcome to the channel. So you probably saw yesterday's video about Donald Trump absolutely crushing Joe Biden in the polls. I hope you have. And if you haven't, so a couple days ago, a poll came out from Washington Post and ABC News showing a lead for Trump over Joe Biden of nearly 10 points. And obviously, this poll could be totally wrong. Could be an outlier, could be massively inaccurate, who knows? But it does show what looks like the start of a massive momentum swing towards Trump. And if elections were held today, you know, considering all the available information we have, Trump's victory seems not just possible, but likely, probable. You know, probably not the soul crushing defeat that I would want, but a win's a win, man. And this is the way it looks. But this is, of course, not what the media is hoping for. And they're in a pretty fun to watch complete and total meltdown. They don't believe the polls, but they will tell you that even if the polls are true, well, it's just because both progressives and Trump supporters, they just can't be trusted. They just don't know enough. They're just not smart enough. They haven't been listening to us. And who better to explain this than the enlightened folks over at Morning Joe? This you have got to see. But before I show you that, guys, thanks to everyone who's been subscribing and leaving such great comments in the community. Really, really appreciate the support, guys. If you haven't already, please help us with the algorithm. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, share the channel. Take a look at this. And Mika, it's true. I mean, all, all, you know, remember after Iowa? Yeah. He was dead. Remember after New Hampshire? Mm -hmm. Mocked, ridiculed, dead. After Nevada, there's no way he can come back. He went to South Carolina and wins the nomination. We heard the same thing. He's too old. He's living in his basement. He stopped up. And he's, he, he can't get out of his basement. He's going to lose. And then election night, oh, well, Trump's going to win this state and that state. Now things wrong. And then progressives, as well as Trumpers, wrong for two years about mm -hmm. bipartisan. Le I'm just telling you, maybe these polls are right. Well, they're not right. It's not nine, po nine points. Morning Joe uh, betting uh, 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 syndicate will take all of your bets right now. Like if you uh, if you want to take the plus nine on Joe Biden, yeah, no, Biden's not going to lose by nine points. This is a close race, and there are warning signs there. I will say though, I'm a little tired of it. I'm a little tired of three years hearing about how Joe Biden's going to get crushed. He's going to get crushed in 2020. He and the Democrats are going to get crushed in 2022. There's going to be a red wave. There's no way he can pass bipartisan legislation. He passes more than anybody this exactly. century. And it just keeps going on and well, there's, on. There's a bunch of things at play. And, and to jump on what you're saying, uh, if these truth tellers would say, you know, it doesn't look good, these polls don't look good, but we've been here before. Let me give some context. Historically, look what happened the last time. He was underestimated. And also in terms of his age, look at what President Biden is doing. Go through his schedule. Look at the things that he has accomplished. List them. And then talk about a man his age and what he is able to do at his age since age is relative. And as for Donald Trump, I think that there has got to be a point where if you're an organization that works around debating the issues and following the truth, I don't know why there are extensive interviews with this man when he cannot even admit he lost the election. Like that would be the end of any interview anywhere, or it should be, and instead he pontificates and, and, and rolls over people with lies, and people continue to put him on as if he is a truth teller. I mean, you, you look at Jonathan. And he's not a truth teller. All right, so there's a lot going on with these guys. You got Mika Brzezinski. She seems to be pushing for networks to shun Trump, to deplatform him. 
using the excuse that, well, no one knows if what he says is true or not. While Joe is trying to wrap his precious little mushy brain around the polling info. And this, this scares the hell out of him, man, you know, because they, they just can't understand how this is happening after they've tried to tell you how evil and how dangerous Trump is, after, after they've done everything they could to protect you from that man, you still choose him. They just don't understand it. And just to recap, you know, what it is they're actually saying, they think that Trump is popular because they've allowed him to make media appearances. And, and even though they fact-checked the hell out of him and tried to combat the man at literally every angle, you still believe him. So deplatforming him is the only way. And apparently their biggest fear, their biggest fear, these in the free press, is that the free press itself interviewing the former president can only make him stronger. And how crazy is that? Let me know in the comments if you can even believe that these people don't hear the crazy things as they say them. And, you know, they, they've, got, they've got only themselves to blame, man. But, you know, speaking of only themselves to blame, Hillary Clinton, she's still rehashing her grievances over the 2016 election. She thinks Trump is going to win in 2024, and she's already blaming that win on her favorite boogeyman, Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin uh, mm. has obviously your friend, your friend and mine. <laughs> yes, uh, indeed. He has uh, intervened in our election in the past. Right. It's not something, as you experienced firsthand, it's not something we talk about a lot. Do you fear that that is something that could be happening for 2024? And do you think we should be talking about it more? Well, I think we should be talking about it more because I don't think, despite all of the uh, you know, deniers, uh, there's any doubt that he interfered in our election or that he has interfered in many ways in uh, the uh, internal affairs of other countries, funding political parties, funding, you know, political candidates, uh, buying off, uh, you know, government officials in different places. So that is his opus, uh, uh, you know, his, his opus operandi in the sense that he hates democracy, he particularly hates the West, and he especially hates us. And he has determined that he can do two things simultaneously. He can try to continue to damage and divide us internally, and he's quite good at it. Mm. And sadly, he has a lot of apologists and enablers uh, in our own country, people who either don't see the danger or dismiss it out of hand or maybe agree with some of the uh, you know positions he's taken uh, on certain things including uh, his barbaric invasion of Ukraine and so dividing us and then trying to seize territory uh, in such a uh, brutal way to try to expand his reach to try to restore the Russian empire, if not the former Soviet Union, that is who he is. Mm -hmm. I said that for years. Part of the reason he worked so hard against me is because he didn't think that uh, he wanted me uh, in the White House. So we are where we are. And part of the challenge is to continue to um, explain to the American public that you know, the kind of leader Putin is, this authoritarian dictator who literally kills his uh, opposition, kills journalists, poisons people uh, who disagree with him, invades other country, interferes with our election. Um, that is part of the alternative we have to reject in this election. We have to reject authoritarianism. We have to reject a kind of creeping fascism almost mm -hmm. of people who, uh, are really ready to turn over their thinking, their votes uh, to want to be dictators, and we can't allow that to proceed. So I think it's I think it's fair to say that uh, y you know you have a tough job because you have to talk about what's happening in the news, but you also have to keep people's eyes on what's right behind the horizon. And I fear that um, you know the Russians have proved themselves to be quite adept at interfering and. Uh, if he has a chance, he'll do it again. <laughs> yeah, man. So she still thinks that it's Russia's fault that she lost in 2016. Of course, you know, based on her bought and paid for lies, the world for years believed that Trump and Putin were literally directly linked and in collusion. You know, now only the truly dishonest, still totally damaged, permanently damaged from propaganda people actually believe that, you know, 
So now they try to sell us the abridged version that Russia meddled by purchasing Facebook ads, specifically targeting black voters to stop them from voting for Hillary and instead support Donald Trump. Now, there's obviously no evidence to actually support or prove that. But even if it is true, really, when someone, even a foreign nation, reminds your citizens that you're a racist POS, is that on them or is that on you for being a racist POS that no one should vote for anyway? Let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. But anyway, guys, that's just my take. Let me know what you think. And if you haven't already, please, please like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, share the channel. We'll see you in the next one.